Hello everyone, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how I designed and printed my own canvas fabric and I designed this fabric to match the little boba charms, these ones here and these have got a little eyelet on them and this is so you can attach them with this suede cord so I'm going to show you how I printed my own fabric and also how I made the finished bow and to make things easier for you, I will link everything that I've used in this tutorial in the description below. If I can't find the exact fabric or design, then I will link something very similar. The app that I use to design my own canvas fabric is called Canva. I will link this in the description below. So upon opening the app, you want to press on the search bar at the top. And I'm going to search for A4 document because the fabric that I print on is A4. So whatever your size is, that you print on is what you want to use as your base and then select create blank so we've got a blank canvas to make our design on and then if I scroll across the bottom here these are all the different things you can add to your canvas I'm going to select my camera roll and this image here which I'm now going to select I saved this from free pick I will link this on my Pinterest and this will be under canvas printables I believe something like that but yeah it will be saved in my Pinterest if you want to use this image yourself if you are selling your designs, make sure that you select royalty free images and non copyrighted images. So we've got our image on our page and it's highlighted and at the top here, this symbol means duplicate and we're going to make four of these. So duplicate four times and then we're going to isolate each one of these drinks by dragging in these bars at the side and the top and the bottom so that we have four separate drink images. So there is the green one. So these little bars at the side, you just drag them in as close as you can to that image. And then we're going to go to the next image and we're going to isolate the orange coloured drink. So again, dragging those top and sides and bottom all in towards that image to isolate that one individual drink. I'm just going to drag it up to the top out of the way. And I've done that now with all four. And this symbol at the bottom here allows you to tilt your image. So I'm going to now lay these out and just tilt them in random directions. It doesn't matter on the size at the moment, you can resize them by dragging the corners. But at this point, we're just going to make a random layout of drinks and items. This will just be the base to use for our pattern. And then this pink one, I am going to drag this down underneath. It doesn't matter, like I said, about the overall size right now, but I'm just making it so that the drinks are all the same size, roughly. And then I'm going to slant the purple drink and then bring it down just to have a little play to see where it looks good. Just to make this basic sort of layout of items to form our pattern. I'm going to slant this pink one and then at the bottom, pressing the plus sign, and then I'm going to search for an element this time. So in the search bar, I'm going to search for speech bubble doodle. And as you can see, some of these say pro on. That is if you've got Canva Pro, but I don't. So I'm going to look for a free image speech bubble to use. So I'm just scrolling through these till I see one that I like. Yeah, this one here so I'm going to now resize this in the same way and then press the plus sign again and this time we're going to scroll across and add a text add a subheading and then we're going to edit this and I'm going to write the word cool and then I'm going to change the font so at the bottom here you've got font and there's all different fonts to choose from I'm going to go for this Salima font and I'm going to resize this so it fits inside of the speech bubble. So I'm just going to resize this speech bubble again because I want these to just be little sort of black and white background images to fill in my pattern. And I'm going to place this where it looks good with a nice even spacing around the drinks. And then I'm going to resize my word make sure it's at the right angle and then I'm going to drag that inside of my speech bubble and then I'm just going to zoom in so I can see it better to make sure it fits in there nicely 
I'm going to use the plus sign again and this time I'm going to do another text so add a subheading again and this time I'm going to write boba time this can be known as boba tea or bubble tea but I'm just going to say it's boba time and for this font so again at the bottom selecting the font I want a sort of bold but fun looking font for this I tried few out before I decided to settle for this Idu font and then we can drag this around our pattern to see where it looks good so now I think I'm going to put this one at the top the top middle here yeah that looks good there now I want to get this in the middle so across the bottom here I'm going to use the nudge feature which is here and then you can just tap on these arrows and as you can see that boba time is just slightly nudging over to the left so I can get that nice and central between those two top drinks. And then pressing the plus sign, we're back into our elements. And I'm having a look through some more of these doodles. I wanted a bubble doodle to represent the tapioca pearls. But I came across these hearts while I was looking and I thought that they were really cute. So I'm going to add them also into my pattern. I'm going to pop them underneath my boba time. And then back to look for a bubble. So I found a bubble image that I want to use and I'm just going to resize it. And then I'm going to make three of these. So at the bottom, you will see copy and paste here. So I'm going to copy it and paste it a few times. I actually done a bit too many. I'm just going to drag these over and I'm going to make a little bundle of three, a bit like the heart design that I just used. So I've just zoomed in so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm making three different size bubbles to represent the tapioca pearls which are in the boba tea. And now I want to group these to keep them together. So press and hold on one bubble and then you will see select multiple at the bottom. I'm going to select all three and then scroll across to group. So now I can move these bubbles around as a group. I'm just going to delete these other two because we don't need those. So grabbing our bubbles here, which are now grouped together, I'm going to duplicate them and I'm going to pop these above each of my boba tea images. So as you can see, I'm just dragging them over to where I want them and resizing them above each of these drinks. So it's just about filling in this pattern with lots of random and different little things just to add some interest and making sure that all of our little things that we're adding to our pattern is all relevant so for example the bubbles that represent the tapioca in the bubble tea and the text boba time and cool I took some extra bubbles and added them in and I duplicated the hearts and added some more hearts on there so this is my finished pattern now ready to make our full pattern so now we need to resize all of this, but first we need to group them together. So you need to press and hold on one of the items till select multiple appear, and you need to press on every single little element that you've added to this page. So all of the little individual bubbles, the drinks, the text, the speech bubble, every little item. Just to make sure you've got them all, you can just sort of drag this, and I can see that I've got them all. So I'm going to go across now and group these, so I can now resize all of these items together and this is where you decide on the size that you want it so obviously this is going to go on a hair bow so I want it quite small so I can get plenty of the different images on the loops so I'm going to start my first image right up in this corner fairly small bearing in mind this is an A4 piece of paper so I can kind of judge by eye how big the overall print is going to be and now we're going to use the copy and paste again and we're going to paste one more of these images and we're going to drag this one directly underneath the top one. Those dotted lines show that I've got it in line and I've spaced them closely but not overlapping. And once you're happy with the placement, we're going to copy and paste a third one. And then this one, we're going to put it to the right of the first image. Again, going by those dotted lines, that will show me that it is in line. And I'm just dragging it close to that image, but again, not overlapping. 
And the same again, we're going to copy and paste a fourth one and fill in that last bottom right corner. Again, using these dotted lines to show it is in line vertically and horizontally. And you can see this pattern now starting to form. It's just amazing how it all fits into place once you start laying them out. And now we're going to select multiple, so pressing and holding on one group of elements and then selecting all four. And then we're going to copy and paste all four images together. So now we can do all four together. So over to the right of those first four, we can paste the next four. Again, making sure they're all in line. And then again, copy and paste. And then drag this one down underneath making sure that they're all in line and the pattern is all looking evenly spaced. And we're going to do the same to fill out this whole page. So that is our completed pattern now. So now we need to save this. So at the top, as you can see the arrow pointing down, you will need to select that and then your image can then be saved to your camera roll, ready to print out onto your canvas. The canvas that I print on, I usually get from Amazon or eBay. You will need an inkjet printer to print on canvas. A laser jet printer will not work, so you must have an inkjet printer. The printer that I use is the Canon Pixma 3650S and you need to make sure that you're printing on the correct side of your canvas so you will have one side that is not quite so white and not quite as smooth. You want to print on the white smoother side. So going into my camera roll and selecting my image at the bottom I'm pressing the arrow to bring up the options. I don't want to use the print feature directly from my phone because it doesn't have a matte photo setting. I'm going to use my actual Canon app and on my Canon app I can select the print settings. I want it set to A4 and I want to make sure that my media type is set to matte photo paper. Again, this is quite important because obviously it is canvas, it is a matte fabric and you want to get that good print quality. Now to press print. Here is the finished printed canvas. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm so happy with how this turned out. Now, as this is a thin fabric, I do like to back this with felt. So to back this, I've got this plain felt here, which I got from Amazon. Again, I will try to link some of this in the description below, if not something very similar. And then taking these double-sided sticky sheets, which I actually got these from eBay, if I remember rightly. Again, I will try to find some to link in the description below. Peeling off one of the backings and then laying out my felt flat onto my desk. And then I'm going to stick that sticky side down onto my felt, so close to the edge as possible. And then pushing that down onto my felt. And once this is stuck down, you can either back your whole canvas sheet or you can do a little bit at a time. So if I was to back my whole canvas sheet, I would peel off this other side of the sticky backing and pop my canvas sheet over the top. So as you can see, I've got this clear double-sided sticky backing. So I would then take my whole canvas sheet and stick it on there. And then I have the whole sheet backed ready to use. And that just gives that some extra thickness. So when you make your bows, it holds a nice bow shape. So I've picked a selection of chunky glitters here to make my bows with. And I've picked them out to match my little boba charms. And I'm going to be using this suede cord to attach my charms to my bows. The hair bow templates that I'm using today is the Odyssey Hair Bow from Bow Templates UK. I'm not going to use this smaller top layer, just the bottom and what would be the middle layer, but I'm going to be using this as the top layer. The actual tails, I might swap these for something a little bit taller. But yeah, let's get making our boba tea hair bows.
And now we are ready to add our suede cord with our boba tea charm. So taking one end of the cord, I'm going to place it underneath my clip. So I'm opening the clip and placing it with the cord coming out from the top, leaving enough to tie off. So around sort of six to eight centimeters here to tie off. And that piece needs to be central to the bow or central to the center strip. So this is what it looks like. And this is the underside taking this long piece next which is still attached to the rest of the cord I'm going to bring this up over the left side and again we want to tuck it under our clip so this is a bit awkward but you need to use your fingers to open the clip and, a, and another finger to hold the cord in place so that when you open the clip you can bring that underneath without losing the other piece you don't want that other piece to slip out so this is the underside now. You've got the long piece here attached still to the cord and that short piece coming out from the top. Now crossing it over now. So all the crossing over needs to be done at the bottom, not under the clip, because if you cross it over under the clip, it's going to make it too bulky. So crossing it over just at the bottom where it's not showing and we're going to bring this piece up to the right. So up the right of the center strip and again we need to tuck it under the clip. So this is where we need all our fingers again, a couple of fingers to open the clip and a third finger to hold all of the cord pieces in place so we can bring that underneath the clip around that center strip. So you've got three pieces now underneath the clip and this last piece is going to come up through the middle. So you've got a piece over to the left and another piece all the way over to the right. And then the two tail ends are going to be coming up from the top middle and the bottom middle. So this one's going to cross over toward the center to tie it off. So we're ready to cut this now. So I'm going to take my scissors and trim this end off about the same length as the top piece that we've got sticking out. And I'm going to do it at an angle. So I'm cutting it diagonally so we've got a little point and then that just makes it easier to thread on our little boba tea charm so we've got the little eyelet here taking that bottom pointed end you want to thread your boba tea charm on the bottom strand of this suede cord making sure your bow is the correct way up so taking that little pointed end threading it through pulling it all the way through so it is close to the center of the bow and then we're ready to tie these two ends off. So taking both ends and just doing a basic knot in there. Some people like to tie it just once because it gives that nice little twist in the center but I don't want it to come undone so I do like to do it in a double knot personally. So pulling those ends nice and tight I like to do them slightly at an angle so they're like diagonal so I'm just going to pull them across diagonally and then we're ready to trim off the ends I like to leave around sort of a centimeter and a half tails and again I like to cut my ends at an angle so I'm going to do this top piece first angling my scissors so that I leave sort of a diagonal pointed finish and then flipping it round and doing the same with the other side so angling my scissors and cutting it off diagonally and there we have our finished boba tea hair bows with that little cute charm hanging from the bottom and also of course our very own design and printed canvas fabric I hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you press the bell button that will turn on notifications I'll see you again soon Bye.